Okay, so here's a video just showing my digital streaming front end. Uh, the digital uh, streaming front end is comprised over here on the right uh, with a SOTM SMS 200 Ultra Neo network bridge. The function of the network bridge is to take uh, data from a music server either by um, uh, copper ethernet or in some um, models uh, optical fiber uh, and then basically uh, reclock that data and send it via USB to the DAC. And the entire point of the network bridge is to be able to make a network connection from your music server, which should be as far away as possible from your DAC. In my case, it's about 40 feet away in another room uh, to provide some isolation uh, from uh, being connected directly via USB to the DAC, which is a bad idea. Uh, USB um, conveys all sorts of nasty noise components uh, into DACs. And so a network bridge eliminates those, lets you get the noisy computer or music server as far away from the DAC as possible. And then you don't have the DAC and the speaker wires picking up all sorts of noise components uh, from the computer music server uh, in your main audio rack. In the middle here, you see uh, an uptone audio ether regen. This is a, an audio grade bespoke designed for audio applications. Uh, Ethernet switch, you can't see it, but there are four RJ45 ports on the back to allow you to make network connections. And then if I lift up the camera here, you can see that I'm using its SFP optical transceiver port, and I'm basically connecting via optical fiber to my music server, which is in another room, again, about 40 feet away in another part of the house. And then the music server serves up content um, from files stored on a hard drive via Rune, and it's transmitted via optical fiber uh, through the home over to the ether region, and then it's trans transferred basically out of the ether region via copper ethernet um, to the network bridge. And then on the left here and on the right at back are the power supplies for the ether region and the network bridge respectively. Um, one of the most important things to do with respect to these digital components is to remove switch mode power supplies from them uh, and use clean um, regulated linear power supplies. Uh, these devices, network bridges, DACs, uh, streamers, um, are all very susceptible to noise components including high source impedance leakage currents and low source impedance leakage currents which cause increased phase noise and jitter and so the entire purpose of the network bridge again is to get the computer away from the DAC as far as possible and also then use clean power supplies to power both the network bridge and any other networking devices uh, so that you're not sending leakage currents um, from dirty power supplies to your network interface components.